The simplest way to describe a Breathe to Heal event is to remind people that the lungs are not only for breathing. We use uh, breath work, certain breathing patterns, to heal and reconcile with certain events and emotions in our life. And that sounds so strange to some people until I remind the audience of what the lungs do. Everybody thinks, well, I know what the lungs do. Bring in oxygen, expel CO2. But the lungs also are, well, they have a secondary function, don't they? The lungs are the engine of expressing our emotions, all communication, verbal communication, for thousands and thousands of years before writing, before literacy, came from our voice and from our ability to speak to each other. So the very first thing we did when we were born was start to cry. I mean, yes, we started to breathe, but part of that breathing process was crying, uh, expressing our displeasure, probably. And um, then the infant continues to use crying, this lung function through the voice, to express what it, when it needs something. I'm cold, I'm hungry, my diaper needs changing. And then if you look at a bunch of five to eight year olds running on the playground, they're screaming, they're shrieking, they're squealing. Um, there's so much that we express. And don't forget, even the eight-year-old will cry. Even the 45-year-old will cry. So our lungs uh, somehow are this engine of emotional expression. And we're taught at some point in our life to suppress a lot of these emotions, particularly fear and shame and anything that makes us vulnerable. Fear, uh, shame, and grief are the big ones. So we we push these emotions down. We forget how to express them. And then we have a crisis in our life and someone we love very much is going through hell and we don't even know how to talk to them. So part of this is learning how to talk about emotions, but part of it is actually uh, freeing or liberating these events that we've crushed in our chest over time. 